This video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. This is a prize catch. We're going to begin by making the tomato soup. First, we're going to cut up three large tomatoes. Then dice up half an onion. This is about 20 grams of mint. We're going to give it a rough chop. And finally, dice up two cloves of garlic. In a pan with a generous amount of olive oil, we're going to throw in our onions. We're going to saute this for about 5 minutes or until the onions start turning translucent. I'm cooking this on medium-high heat. Once our onions start to change in color, we're going to add in our garlic, mint, and chili flakes. We're going to saute this for another 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, we're going to add in all of our tomatoes. We're going to turn this up to high heat and then saute it for about 10 minutes. We're trying to break down and caramelize the tomato as much as we can. When everything is nice and soft, we're going to add in 2 liters of vegetable stock. Once all the vegetable stock's in, we're going to put a lid on this and let it boil for 30 minutes. While we wait for this to finish, let's hear from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Let me introduce you guys to Magic Spoon cereal. What's so special about it? It's delicious and healthy, and that's a combination hard to find. How is it healthy? Each serving will only generate 140 grams of calories, 0 sugars, 4 grams of net carbs, and 13 grams of protein. So what does that mean? That means that this cereal is high in protein, low in carbs, low in sugar, and on top of that, it's gluten-free, grain-free, and has no artificial flavors or sweeteners. But that's not the best part. Not only is this cereal crunchy and delicious, it has 9 unique flavors that will take you back to your childhood. So if you're like me, looking for a new alternative to eat healthier, but don't want to give up delicious foods, this is the perfect cereal for you. Order now at magicspoon.com slash chefmar and get $5 off the variety pack. Happiness guaranteed or your money back. After 30 minutes of boiling, your tomatoes and onions should have broken down. We're now going to ladle this into a blender. Once we pour everything in, we're going to puree it. I pureed this for about 30 seconds. Now, in the saucepan, we're going to throw in some butter. We're going to melt this butter and then throw in some paprika to release its oils. We're going to cook the paprika off on medium heat for about 30 seconds and then start ladling in the sauce little by little. You can pour all the sauce in at once. I'm only ladling it so that it doesn't splatter all over the place. Once all the sauce is in, I felt that the color of the soup was too orange and didn't have enough tomato flavor, so I threw in about a cup of tomato juice. I brought it to a boil, gave it a good stir until all of the tomato sauce was incorporated. And then as a final step, I seasoned it with salt and black pepper. I'm going to be keeping this sauce on the side on low heat while I tend to my crab and octopus. This is Mr. Krabby's uncle, Mr. Krabby. I'm about to stab him in the central nervous system. But seriously though, this is one of the fastest way to kill a crab. You simply open this shell, put a rod right through the central nervous system, and it'll die within seconds. And just like that, Mr. Krabby's dead. In a pot of boiling water, we're going to throw in some Old Bay seasoning spice. We're going to take Mr. Krabby and then throw him into the pot. We're going to boil him for about 3 minutes.
After 3 minutes, we're gonna take Mr. Krabby out and set him aside. These are two long-armed octopus from Korea. I've never cooked them before. I'm gonna boil them for 3 minutes in the same pot as Mr. Krabby. After 3 minutes, the octopus should be done. At least that's what Google says. We're gonna take the octopus out of the water and let it cool down slightly. When the octopus is cool enough to handle, we're simply going to cut off its head. And then now let's plate. This dish actually only took me about an hour to cook. It was really fast. First, let's try out the octopus, see if it's cooked. For this octopus, I only cooked it for about three minutes and it was perfectly cooked. I could easily chew right through it. But what's really good was that tomato sauce. What I really want right now is a piece of bread. Unfortunately, I'm in an Asian household and we don't have bread. So now I'm gonna have to eat this with rice. I'm gonna rip off Mr. Krabby's claw break it apart. I can't do it with my hands, so now I'm gonna have to use my scissors. But real talk though, I'm so annoyed that I don't have a nice piece of crusty bread to dip it in this tomato sauce. I guess I'm just gonna have to settle for this crab meat dipped into this sauce. That's so good. Honestly, this dish was actually really good. I'm quite impressed. Honestly, I kept pushing this dish because I had such low hopes for it. But luckily, it actually tastes good. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoy it. If you guys really like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.